G'day guys and gals and welcome back to another Game of Vids video. In this one we're going to follow much the same routine as before. We're going to install a mod as well as a um, utility. So today we're going to install SSE Engine Fix as well as we're going to install Immersive HUD. So it's quite useful depending on what you want to do. If you're happy with just the vanilla version of the game, then you can basically skip this mod, but something I would recommend would be the SSE Engine Fix. That fixes a whole lot of bugs. But anyway, we will kick off with that. We're going to check out to see if there's any requirements, and this one does have a requirement. So for this mod to work, we need to get the address library for SKSE plugins. Now I've already got it here. Again, all links will be in the description below, so don't stress about trying to find it. There is no requirements for this mod to work. So we're going to go over to Files, Download with Manager, and we're going to start downloading. As you can see in the background here, it's already downloaded and it's ready for install. We're going to come over to Files here, and we are going to download part one of this mod with the Nexus Mod Manager. So I'm just going to hit download, slow download. Now keep this page up because we will need to get part two as well. Now this one has to be installed manually, which I'll show you how to do. But for now, we're just going to download it. And all we're doing at the moment is we're just getting everything ready everything where we need it to be and, and finally immersive hud right yeah we're going to go to files and this is another one we're going to download with the mod manager uh, yep just like before it's let us know that we need skse 64 in order to use this mod correctly we've already got it installed so we just hit download now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the engine fix first so if you remember, the engine fix required the address library in order to work. So we're going to activate this mod first. We're going to do the install. We're going to activate. We're going to check to make sure it, yep, it hasn't put any plugins in. And if it has it, they're active. Now what we're going to do is get engine fixes up and running. So to do that, we're going to install the first part. Enable, it's done its thing. Plugins, yep, we're all good. Now we're going to minimize this. We're going to go to where the file downloaded and we're going to make our way to our Skyrim folder. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is unzip this with your zip unzipper of choice. We're going to go into here, and as you can see, we have three DIL files. Those three DIL files are going to get dropped directly into here. And copy. Done. And now the engine fix is installed and ready to go. We're also going to install Immersive HUD. Yep, and now that's installed. Going to just check our plugins. As you can see, iHUD or Immersive HUD added a plugin. That is fine. We're going to go back to mods. And there you go, guys. Just to recap on this video, what we've done is we have installed part one and part two of the engine fix, which happens in the background. And you don't really see any visual effects or anything like that, but it just helps to make your game a lot more stable, helps fix a lot of bugs and stuff like that, stuff that can just ruin the immersion of a game. Uh, we installed the address library so that the engine fix can work. In addition to installing, where's it gone? There it is, Immersive HUD. And like I said to you guys at the start of this series, using a mod manager like Vortex just makes modding so much easier and so much smoother. 
And like as far as your mod, uh, your load order goes, currently I have auto sort enabled. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably look at installing a few more mods and even another tool. But it's time to leave it there. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But remember, mod the games that you want to mod the way that you want to mod them. But don't forget to have fun. Bye!